Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about 3DS emulation on Android, 8-bit Doen, Ubisoft. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about Nintendo 3DS emulation on Android with Citra, just not the version of Citra that's on the Google Play Store. And also not Citra MMJ. We're talking about Citra Enhanced, a fork of Citra that was marked as dead is now back alive. Now as of this video, the latest version of Citra Enhanced on GitHub is version 2.1.0. I'm assuming version 2.2.0 should be available very shortly, but if you want to take an early look at it, well, you absolutely can. You can check out this Mediafire link, or you can check out the official Fork Discord in the description below. Unfortunately, I have no idea what version 2.2.0 brings to the table, but I would be lying if I said I wasn't curious. Next up here, we're talking about 8-Bit Do, or 8-Bit Do, depending on how you want to pronounce it. 8-Bit Do has a brand new controller up for pre-order on Amazon. This new controller is called the Lite 2. It's a successor to the Lite and it seems they've improved the controller just a little bit. They've added in some joysticks, they've removed that weird D-pad on the right hand side, and they've added in some triggers. The Lite 2 is compatible with Android and the Switch, it's USB-C or Bluetooth, it's got motion sensors, vibration, and turbo, and it also looks a little awkward to hold. But if you were a fan of the light, well, you might be a fan of the light too. And if you were interested in the light, the light too might be the way to go. The light too is currently showing at $34.99. At this price point, personally, I'd recommend just spending the extra 15 bucks and getting the Pro 2. The Pro 2 is compatible with more systems, it's got more features baked into it, and this is one of my favorite controllers right now. But I mean, if the styling and the aesthetic is what you're going for, I'm assuming the Lite 2 should be okay. And speaking about okay, or rather not okay, next up here we're talking about Ubisoft. And yet again, Ubisoft is doing something that really isn't to the tune of what the gamers want. On Steam, Ubisoft's Assassin's Creed Liberation, which has been doing amazing in the review category with mixed and mostly negative reviews, will no longer be accessible after September 1st of this year. Now this screenshot, which raised a lot of eyebrows, says at the request of the publisher, Assassin's Creed Liberation HD is no longer available for sale on Steam. And please note this title will not be accessible following September 1st. However, before you get too worked up about this or possibly even laugh about it, check out the official Steam page listing for Assassin's Creed Liberation. Ubisoft has worked pretty quickly to update this or possibly change the narrative altogether. It says now, DLC for this product and online elements and features will become unavailable as of September 1st. The base game will continue to be playable. And interestingly enough here, it's now available to purchase where it was taken down for purchase before. I guess Ubisoft still wants your money. Now, as much as I love digital games, this is a really harsh reminder as to one of the biggest drawbacks about them. As much as you think you own them, you really don't. The developer or publisher or even the store can change things without your consent and you've got no control over it. And this kind of happens with some physical games nowadays too. I mean, games that require DLC and games that require an online connection. Anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below, whether it's 8-Bit Doe, uh, Ubisoft, or the return of Citra Enhanced. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos, don't tempt fate, save your state.